Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of German Politics Explained. Today I want to tell you a little bit about the German president, about his tasks, about his duties and all the fields he's responsible for and of course his place in our state. I wish you an interesting time. I hope you enjoy. Just let's get on with the video. The federal president is head of state. Even if there is no hierarchy between the constitutional organs, he is in the lead of the states in terms of protocol. He is the one constitutional body that embodies the unity of the Federal Republic of Germany and represents internally and externally. This is done by the federal president by his actions and public appearance, the state itself, its existence, legitimacy, legality and unity makes visible. This reflects both the task of integration and the legal and constitutional control functions of his office. It is supplemented by a political reserve function for crisis situations of the parliamentary system of government, for example in the case regulated by Article 68, loss of consent to the person and program of the federal chancellor, call for new elections by the federal president at the request of the federal chancellor. Tasks. The classic functions that the federal president has as head of state include the representation of the Federal Republic of Germany internally and externally through its public appearance in state, social and cultural events, through speeches, through visits to countries and communities, through state visits abroad and the reception of foreign state guests. The international representation of the Federal Republic of Germany, the conclusion of contracts with foreign states, the certification, that means appointment, of German diplomatic representatives and the receipt or the receipt of credentials of foreign diplomats. The most important additional tasks include the proposal for the election of the Federal Chancellor, the appointment and dismissal of the Federal Chancellor and the Federal Ministers, the dissolution of the Bundestag, the Federal Parliament, the execution, hence signing, and promulgation of laws, the appointment and dismissal of Federal Judges, Federal Officials, Officers and Non-Commissioned Officers. By the way, my um, promotion to lieutenant was signed in the name of the president, so I know this from personal experience. The right of pardon for the Confederation, the religious order of the Federation. The federal president is the living symbol of the state. Standing above the parties, he works in speeches, conversations, through patronage, and other initiatives integrating, moderating and motivating. Just as a side information, so far every president put his party membership um, to rest for the time in office. Official functions. Government formation. According to the Grundgesetz, our constitution, the federal president participates in the formation of a government by proposing the federal chancellor for election to the Bundestag and appoints the elected. The federal ministers are also appointed and dismissed by him or her on the proposal of the federal chancellor. Appointments, dismissals and so on. Furthermore, the federal president appoints and dismisses the federal judges, the federal officials, the officers and NCOs, unless otherwise provided by law. In many cases, he is also responsible for the appointment of commissions and other bodies, often at the suggestion of the federal government or other public authorities. For example, the appointment of the members of the German Council of Economic Experts, the National Regulatory Control Council or the appointment of the Board of Trustees of the six commemorative foundations.
Execution of laws. After countersignature by the federal ministers involved and the federal chancellor, the federal laws are signed by the federal president. Before that, he has to check whether they have come about according to the provisions of the Grundgesetz, according to state practice and prevailing opinion. This, exam this examination law covers both formal aspects, jurisdiction and procedural rules, and the material issues, fundamental rights, state objectives, state organization law. The right and duty of the federal president to constitutionally review a law prior to execution is part of the legislative process. The copy is not in competition with the task of the federal constitutional court. If the federal president comes to the re result that there is such a far-reaching constitutional reservation against a law that he is prevented from issuing a copy, the constitutional bodies involved in the legislation remain free to appeal against non-performance to the federal constitutional court. In the history of the Federal Republic so far, there have been eight cases in which a federal president has refused to draft a law. The last two cases date from the year 2006. Federal President Horst Köhler has decided not to finalize the law on the new regulation of air traffic control and the law on the revision of the law of consumer information. In addition, there have been other cases of constitutionally controversial laws in which the federal president, despite constitutional concerns of a formal or material nature, has issued because he could not win in the application of the above described standard of review the certain conviction that a constitutional offense without doubt and obviously was there. In individual cases, federal presidents have set out their constitutional concerns in a letter to the federal chancellor and to the presidents of the Bundestag and Bundesrat, the federal parliament and the federal council. For example, in 1981, federal president Karl Carstens handled the state's liability law and federal president Roman Herzog did so in 1994 when amending the Atomic Energy Act. In 2002, Federal President Johannes Rau also explained his decision to issue the Immigration Act in a public statement. On January 11, 2005, Federal President Horst Köhler issued the law on the revision of aviation security tasks, although he had formal and material doubts about individual, any individual provisions of the law. After being issued by the Federal President, the laws are promulgated in the Federal Law Gazette. Pardon. According to Article 60 of the Grundgesetz, the Federal President exercises the right of pardon for the Confederation. This includes the power to eliminate or mitigate the criminal, civil or employment consequences of a single criminal, or disciplinary decision. However, the Federal President cannot enact an amnesty whereby penalties are issued or reduced in a generally specified number of cases. For, for this purpose, a law is required, which would have to be decided by the German Bundestag, the Parliament, with the particip participation of the Bundesrat, the Federal Council. Because of the federal structure of Germany, the Federal President has the power of merit only for the federal government, but not for the states. This means that he is only responsible for a referral of mercy in certain criminal proceedings for which the first instance jurisdiction of federal courts is justified. This is the case, for example, with the so-called state protection offenses, such as espionage or terrorism. He also exercises the disciplinary right in the dis disciplinary punishment of service offenses of federal offic officials, federal judges and soldiers. For the overwhelming majority of crime convictions and disciplinary cases, the competence of mercy lies with the state, usually the prime minister of the state, 
whose court has imposed the first instance of punishment or which exercises disciplinary authority over the state officials. Because of the large number of mercy proceedings, the federal president made use of the option given by the federal president on the exercise of the pardon of the Confederation of 5th October 1965 by the option granted to him by Article 60 of the Grundgesetz to delegate. Speeches The spoken and written word is one of the strongest political means available to the federal president. With these speeches, he can direct the attention of the public and those responsible in government, parties and associations to certain issues and problems in politics and society. He can give suggestions and impulses. Many citizens address their wishes, requests, complaints and questions to the federal president. These letters are based on a great trust that puts people in the federal president to help them solve their questions and problems. In many cases, however, the expectations of citizens exceed the possibilities and powers that the federal president has under the Constitution. With great care, all incoming letters and concerns are checked. In case of legitimate concerns, all possibilities of action by the federal president are exhausted. Depending on the situation, the competent federal, state and local authorities, especially the local services, can be involved as well as the charitable associations and other institutions. A patronage of the federal president assumed on the basis of his personal deci decision expresses the special interest of the state in an organization, initiative or event. The importance of the event or organization is highlighted by the assumption of patronage by the head of state. A patronage of the federal president is only considered if a project has positive effects for the whole country and if it is legally, organizationally and financially secured. Representation and Integration the federal president is an integrating authority representing the unity of the state and the people. As head of state, he embodies the state. He represents him and he is to bring together the different social groups. All activities in this area, above all the determination of state symbols, the fulfillment of representation duties, the assumption of patronage and speeches, the arrangement of states, uh, state files and state burials, can be summarized under the term of state care. This is a very broad area for which many legal requirements do not exist. For example, the national anthem. The federal president lays the state symbol feast as far as legislator, uh, legislature does not act. In addition to the federal flag, the national anthem is the most famous state symbol. Even President Ebert declared in 1922 the Song of the Germans, 1841 by August Heinrich Hoffmann of Fallersleben, to the melody of Haydn's Emperor's Anthem poem by decree to the national anthem. In 1952, the then federal president, Theodor Heuss, decided to accept the song as a national anthem for the Federal Republic of Germany, but with a note to sing only the third stanza on state occasions. That was uh, handed in correspondence between Federal President Theodor Heuss and Chancellor Konrad Adenauer. It has to do with the past of Germany and the abuse of the first um, stanza of um, the anthem by the Nazis. Flag, coats of arms, uniforms. The national symbols include, in particular, flags, coats of arms, uniforms, and the official dress of the judges. To this end, the federal president has each made orders that are published in the Federal Law Gazette. The federal president's standard is described in the order on the German flags. 
The standard of the federal president is an equilateral red banded gold colored rectangle, the federal eagle, hovering, turned to the pole, ratio of the width of the red border to the height of the standard like 1 to 12. So they really go into details. State acts, state funerals. The federal president can order the, um, the death of public... F what? <laughs> the, the federal president can order in the case of the death of public fitters, figures who have made a special contribution to the Federal Republic of Germany a state funeral or a state act. The state funeral usually includes a military ceremonial and may also be associated with a church celebration. The state ceremony is a festive political event and cannot be ordered just to commemorate a dead man. For example, on October the 3rd, 1990, Federal President Richard von Weizsäcker ordered a state ceremony in, Bel in the Berlin Philharmonic on the occasion of Germany's unification. Other forms of representation integration. In addition to such formal acts, the federal president represents our state in many and varied ways. Every appearance of the head of state in public, his participation in an event, the assumption of patronage, a speech, congratulations, sightseeing and much more uh, state appreciation in the personal uh, person well this does really show the appreciation of the person of the federal president and expresses it um, just to everyone he, he thereby sets a signal of state recognition benevolence or special support it's precisely this that results in a limitation of the occasions to which the federal president can turn. They must have a nationwide charisma and be of particular importance. That includes, by the way, um, special anniversar anniversaries. Um, he usually congratulates um, domestic and foreign citizens when they become 100 or 105. And uh, married couples, uh, couples will be congratulated by the president on the occasion of the 65th, 70th, 75th or 80th wedding anniversary. Who can do that nowadays? So, and uh, there's a lot more. There's also honorary uh, sponsorship um, and and. For. Um, Or was that again? That have for a family that has at least seven children. Work abroad. According to the Grundgesetz, the federal president represents the Federal Republic of Germany under international law, concludes treaties with foreign states in its name, accredits outgoing German diplomats and receives all foreign ambassadors in Germany. International representation. The pres president is responsible for um, assigning the German representatives. Accordingly, the federal president has the exclusive competence to act legally in the name of the Federal Republic of Germany in international affairs. To distinguish this is the leadership of the foreign policy, which is um, essentially a matter for the federal government. The fact that the federal president re represents the Federal re uh, Republic under international law corresponds to the German constitutional tradition and the international state practice after which usually the head of state possesses the international law representation power. International agreements. In accordance with the Grundgesetz, the federal president on behalf of the federal government 
concludes the treaties with foreign states. International agreements between states are concluded on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Germany. Where the federal government or federal ministries can conclude international treaties themselves, such in the area of government agreements and ministerial agreements, the federal president has transferred his rights. In most cases, the federal president grants the foreign minister, a state secretary or a German ambassador a corresponding authorization. State visits. State visits by the federal, federal president abroad and state visits by foreign heads of state in Germany are an expression of the quality of bilateral relations. They offer an opportunity to further development, uh, develop um, cooperation. In general they take place alternately and at intervals of several years. Despite the permanent presence of the Federal Republic of Germany through its messages abroad and the many bilateral and multilateral conferences in which the federal government participates, the personal meetings of head of state continues to be of great importance. During a state visit, the federal president is accompanied by representatives from politics and business as well as high-ranking personalities from science and culture. Appointment of German Ambassadors A German ambassador abroad is the personal representative of the federal president to a foreign head of state. Several steps are necessary until the appointment of an ambassador abroad is complete. The federal cabinet will initially decide on the appointment of ambassadors to the recommendation of the foreign office. For this decision, the approval of the federal president is obtained. The Foreign Office will inquire in the receiving country whether it agrees to the appointment of the diplomat as ambassador, whether they give him the so-called agreement. After the agreement has been granted, the federal president appoints the proposed person as an ambassador and signs a corresponding credential. The ambassador hands over the credentials to the head of state of the recipient state. This act, called accreditation, allows him to take up office as an ambassador in the recipient country. Accreditation of foreign ambassadors If a foreign state wishes to send an ambassador to the Federal Republic of Germany, the same procedure applies as for the sending of German diplomats. The state must clarify whether the Federal Republic agrees to this posting, and seeks the grant of the agreement by the federal president. When accredited in Germany, the designated ambassador will be received in a small military ceremonial in front of the official residence of the federal president. Then he enters the guest book in the gallery. He then goes to the Langhanssaal of Schloss Bellevue with high-ranking embassy staff, where he presents his credentials and the letter of abrogation of his predecessor to the federal president. Then the new ambassador and the president of the Federal Republic of Germany withdraw for an initial discussion, which not only offers the opportunity to get to know each other, but it also used for the transmission of political news. Finally, the ambassador will once again be adopted with a small military uh, ceremonial, in which the national flag of his country is hoisted in front of Bellevue Palace as a sign that the new ambassador is now legally effective. The journeys to and from the office are made by the new ambassador in the car of the federal president. The Berlin police place an honorary escort of five motorcyclists. Medals and honors the distinction of deserving personalities has always been part of the task of a head of state. As in, most, uh, as in almost all countries in the world, orders and decorations are awarded in the Federal Republic of Germany 
as external signs of a special public tribute. The Federal President awards the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, the Silver Laurel Leaf and other decorations. He also has the highest decision-making power over the religious order of the Federal Republic of Germany. For example, he grants German citizens permission to accept and wear foreign medals and decorations or to hold foreign honorary titles. The Chancellery in the Federal President's office supports him by informing him and preparing and implementing his decision in cooperation with the state and senate chancelleries of the 16 federal states. That was it. I hope you liked what you heard. I hope it was interesting for you. That was the basic stuff I wanted to tell you about our president. If you're interested in more German politics, there will soon be more videos. For now I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video so more people can enjoy learning more about German politics and uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. There of course you can share my videos too. <laughs> I would like more people to see that. But for now, thank you very much. Have a nice day and bye bye.